Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is a channel about studying abroad, getting scholarships and building a successful career. My name is Ira and if you have watched my previous videos, you might know that I won 5 full scholarships to study abroad for free and also graduated from King's College London in the United Kingdom with Chimney Scholarship. And in this video, I will tell you my six main principles of setting goals and achieving my goals, and basically how I plan my life and what I do to keep up with the pace of achieving many things at the same time. So the first main principle is setting up relevant goals. I ask myself, do I really need it? Is it something that I really want or is it something that I just think it's like really nice and I can have it because other people want to have same. And then I decide if I want to have this goal or not because the most important thing is when you have a real motivation because if you don't really have a real motivation then you can stop achieving your goals just in the middle of the road which is not really nice. And also it is really important to set up the priorities. What goals you have to achieve right now and what goals you can postpone for later. Same thing that you have divided the goals to the short-term and long-term ones because you have to understand in later principles that I will tell you today that basically you have to know the plan and if you have the goal which is short-term goal then maybe you have to start doing something right now. In a long-term goal you can make some like small steps toward this goal step by step and you have more time to achieve this but it doesn't mean that you have to postpone it it just meaning that probably you have to divide this like goal to small steps uh, and start achieving it right now and here we come with the second main principle which is adapting the goal in the process it's totally okay that you adjust your goal in the process of your life because for example i had really many big goals that i really decided not to achieve any longer and it was not like a big point or something that I'm giving up, not at all, because I just understood like it's not really my thing and I don't want it any longer. For example, uh, I had a goal of buying a flat in Moscow. And at this time, I've been in Moscow just one time in my life and I just thought like, okay, it's a nice investment. It's just a nice place to buy a flat. And I heard from someone that I need around like 150,000 euro and I can buy like a normal flat around the center of the city and it can be a nice investment and also Moscow is like a great city to live especially during the summertime so why not and I had this goal two years ago and I started to save money for this to be honest I wasn't like really felt driving for this goal at all so I wasn't drive I wasn't really amazed about this goal I was just like I need the goal to save money for because it's kind of what you have to do when you want to save money and earn more money so I wasn't really feeling nice about that goal then when I realized that it's not really my thing I adjusted this goal to something else then I also had a goal of buying Mercedes I knew them like really the car what I want to buy it was Mercedes CLA 200 see i think okay i forgot already uh, anyways i was really dreaming about this goal and i was collecting money for this but then apparently i understood like i don't need any car not this not another one just because i'm not living in one country for like more than one two months i'm always moving and i'm always moving with the flights because normally it's quicker and I don't really like driving at all, so why do I need the car? I mean, really, I like this car, just generally how it looks. It's kind of the sign of prestige or whatever, but to be honest, I don't want to show off like that I can afford this car. It's not really what I would like to do. It's first thing. Second thing, I don't use the car too much. Thirdly, I don't have one place to live. I don't want to bound myself to one place, like to one country. As like for the first, I don't really want to have all the problems with technical assistance, technical and service of the car. and. Even driving license is kind of getting time to get it for me because of all these lockdowns all the time, postponing the exams. So to be honest, this goal was really like 
as well, not uh, conscious when I had it. And that's why I adjusted it to something else. I was like, okay, I earned money for this car. Uh, it's great. Uh, I'm proud of myself, but I don't want to spend this money now for this car. Let's move to something else. And my goal has been changing many times. And now I see that there are some that left and there are some that I'm not changing, like really never. And there are some that I always change. Also from these goals, like that kind of sounds um, maybe convincing is that uh, at some point I wanted to have more followers in all my accounts like in YouTube especially in Instagram I wanted to have like 500,000 because at this time I had 150,000 uh, then I like kind of bought an application that uh, unfollow people who are not active enough so now I had less and to be honest it was a big step for me because I had a goal of having more but apparently I had less because I did it myself so why I changed this goal because in the end of the day and just like I don't want to be a popular person I want to be an expert with a, a team an expert with the audience and with the clients I want to earn money I want to make an impact and I want to bring some use to people and it's not about having more people because it's difficult sometimes to have bigger audience if your topic is kind of narrow if you're just talking about studying abroad or about some productivity business it's not really for many people so it's difficult if you don't use like hype methods or something really extraordinary to get this big audience so for me it's more important to bring value to the audience that really appreciate these things rather than just uh, having more people uh, around who know me I mean uh, there is nothing really useful for me in this kind of goal so I also changed it my point is really not important that you adjust your goal with the times because when you start moving towards the goal you can get some more information you can get some new insights that you understand like okay it's not what I really want it's something else I just thought this is what I want then you adjust your goal so it's kind of okay to do it the third rule is that I break down my goal into micro steps because for example some big goals can look really scary but if you really have small goals and small steps then it's okay to be honest, it's kind of obvious advice, but for me, it's not about only uh, breaking down the goals into micro steps, because still, if the goal is big, then it still can be really scary. But my own like methods is like um, breaking down the goals into micro goals. For example, uh, if you have a goal of like a building, for example, a business and give you a profit of uh, 20,000 euro a month, or maybe you have a goal of getting new clients, or maybe you have a goal of buying an apartment, these all goals can be really kind of big as well. But if you start making goals that are smaller, but they are still same, like for example, uh, earning money like 50,000 euro, save it, it's kind of a part of the money that you can spend for apartment. Or maybe um, improve your credit score to get a loan or mortgage for buying an apartment. Or maybe uh, you can put a goal of having like two new clients or moving to the income of 10,000 euro a month. So it's like goals, it is half of the goals that you want to achieve which is not really a micro step, it's not a micro step because micro step is like uh, first I have to do this, this and that but micro goal, like not a micro step, is like same goal but smaller scales, just smaller extent that doesn't scare you too much for me when I put the goals bigger I also sometimes get, uh, get scared and then I see like okay if it's too much the goal is too difficult for me then I try to make it smaller if it's not too much and too scary that I just put it into micro steps and these smaller goals as well you have to put to micro steps because this is how you do like learning 10 mm, English words a day is much better than for example not doing anything because you get uh, panic from learning English like as a whole language because it's really difficult the fourth rule is choosing achievable goals because if you put something that it's totally not achievable at least for you now then you can get disappointed really quick and you will feel like okay it's something that i really 
I don't know, like it's not possible. For example, you want to start your Instagram blog and you want to have 100,000 people following you. But to be honest, let's like be real because in Instagram, there is no organic growth. You always have to put money into Instagram to get more views, to get more likes. It's not like you're buying likes of views, but generally you allow your account to catch more people just that they see this because it's how it works. Uh, I mean, I know it's a little bit stupid and for me really it's a little bit disappointing. That's why I'm moving to YouTube and I don't want to use Instagram any longer just because of this, because you can be really like a star, but if you don't have money to invest into this, and then I'm sorry you are screwed because it's not possible to develop your Instagram account without always investing money into it. So if you have this goal, but you don't have any basic budget to start with, then uh, you will not be able to achieve this goal even if you really want, even if you really put a lot of efforts, you have to make people see your account. And this is only possible right now with the money. I know that there are some other social medias that allow still to do this for free, like TikTok, like Clubhouse, which is really new, and still YouTube is working like that. But in Instagram, it's done, it's over. So this kind of goal, if you don't have basic income uh, to invest, it's not achievable. And even if you have, you still have to count like what kind of money you need to invest in order to get like this kind of followers. And to be honest, it's a lot. So if you don't have it, or you, if you don't want to invest so much, then probably this goal is just not achievable and you will get disappointed quick because you will do a lot of things, like you will put a lot of efforts into this, like making nice content, always nice, nice videos, nice stories, posts, pictures, texts, and then no feedback, no involvement, no engagement and then you will be get disappointed. So it's not what you want and it's not what you're uh, looking for. At the same time, it's really important to always keep up with the systems that you created for yourself, like not going astray from the real goals you have in the very beginning, because sometimes it's like you're forgetting what you really wanted and you would like become distracted. And even sometimes you feel like, okay, this is more easy option, I want this right now. So it's always important to maybe go back to the um, original goals that you set up for yourself. That's why it's really nice if you write them down in some kind of notebook or your iPad, like your phone, anywhere. And then you go back to them and you always check uh, what you really planned. Because even like uh, in my example that sometimes when you face the difficulties, if you see like, okay, maybe maybe it's not what I want. Just like small example from recent weeks. My goal for this year and generally my goal like in my personal life was to go to Morocco, but I don't have a visa to Morocco and require a visa because I'm a Belarusian citizen and we have this rule. Uh, however, due to the COVID situation right now, uh, all visa centers are closed. They don't give any visas, only in some extraordinary circumstances that you can explain to them. And uh, this process uh, of like finding the way how to get this visa was really long and difficult. I tried many options, like starting from a business invitation to like some personal invitations. And to be honest, I didn't try anything because I was always postponing trying to find a better way because it's like something that you don't want to risk because if you risk and you get refusal, then probably you will be having some difficulties afterwards when you try a second time. And that's why I've thought like, okay, I want to find the best solution right now and try the best option. And always like not postponing, but always uh, like trying more and more. It was taking time. So in the end I was like, okay, it's time coming when I want to go already and nothing's really working, but I didn't try, you see? I didn't try to apply with at least something and time when I already want to come is coming. So I so like, okay, maybe I just can go to Dubai like with my friends and it's like not really the trip. I mean, I can just cancel this trip. So you see, like sometimes when we face difficulties, we want to replace our goals with something else because 
uh, it seems better in the way. But if I coming back to me in January, thinking of my goals, it's what it wasn't just about trip. It was just about something else, like about the projects I want to do in this country. And when I like uh, already face difficulties, sometimes I want just to postpone it and like to give up. But it's not what you want because you always have to come back to your original goals to understand. Like you don't do it just for holidays, for example. You don't it for something else. And it's important to follow your goals and keep up with the goals because afterwards it's going to be uh, disappointing for you, not for someone else. And finally, your targets must be empowering. It means that you have to be really amazed and driven by your targets because if you do something that really makes you down, you don't like the job, but you want to have like a promotion at this job, then it's kind of um, really useless thing because you're not gonna feel energy back from achieving these goals. You will always just give up the energy and just uh, invest something for nothing. And it's not really how it works. That's why I always uh, try to be conscious and analyze your feelings from things you are doing towards your goals. And in 2021, I set up for myself 100 goals that I want to achieve. And all these goals have been different, like they've been in different areas, like business, personal life, health, um, like my Instagram blog, some creativity, some other things. And right now it's like already two months as I'm doing it. And to be honest, I feel really happy that this time I feel that I'm really achieving the goals week by week because the goals are so different. There are small, there are big, there are not like only two main goals that I can achieve in the end of the year, which is really sometimes demotivating because you try hard, but the goal is so big that you really need a lot of time to achieve it. Sometimes it's really better that you have something small mixing with something bigger and you're moving towards bigger goals at the same time achieving something small. So it makes you feel better because you put this like done. Uh, in front of your goals and your main things you want to do. In my case, uh, I already achieved many things. And if you like to know what are my goals for 2021 and how I achieved them like step by step, then let me know in the comments. And also let me know, like, do you have some problems with achieving the goals? What are the problems? What are the difficulties that you face? So I can make a new videos on this topic. And I would like to help you because I know that sometimes it can be demotivating, but if you find the right way then it's becoming like a big challenge for you and, and you feel happy to achieve your goals so thank you guys for your attention for this video and if you liked it and if it was useful for you then don't forget to push the like button and also to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications for new videos because then you will not miss them and i wish you all the best with achieving your goals and see you in the next video bye